looking for an alternative way to brew your coffee in the morning or the afternoon or whenever, Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. We're going to look at the Peebo by Bodum and talk about it, how to use it and all about it. This is a vacuum pot type of a situation that you use on your stovetop. It can be electric or gas, obviously. You put the water down in here and you can do six or eight cups, what they classify as a cup. And how this works is you put your water in here, you put your coffee up here, and as the water heats up, it will create a pressure which forces the water through this system. Let me show you this. Spring loaded. This is a seal down here, seals against the glass, although it has little ridges for a reason. Put this down in there. Pull the spring down and hook it onto the edge of the glass. Now, as it, the coffee is going to go up, and as you get rid of all the water down below and the vessel down below, you take it off of the heat. And as this is an expansion and contraction theory, is all it is, it will start to contract, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, it'll go down into the bottom. And it gives you a really nice, clean cup of coffee. And it takes about 10 minutes. So let's just do it. We're going to do the six on the water. Six cups. You know, this is all glass. You don't want to break it. There's the six right down there. We're going to get right up to it. Are we there? Not quite. There. Put this on. And this is a rubber seal. That gives you your vacuum against here. Seals really well. We have uh, eight scoops, and they it comes with a scoop, a lid for up here, and a lid for down here after you take the two pieces apart. We are using eight scoops of the Velton's pre-ground twilight. You want a fine ground, um, fine ground drip or a coarse ground espresso. So we're going to put it on the heat. And of course, for a little bit, this is going to be like watching grass grow. It's not going to be all that riveting, but this will start to simmer. It never comes to a total boil. And then the water, as it comes to the simmer, will go up through that center tube, come up here, disperse all the water out of there, take it off the fire, and then as it cools down, it'll suck it back down. And then we'll taste test it. It's just starting to come up into the coffee now. We should start to see... Uh, you know, a little more action should start coming up a little bit faster. Interesting. Okay. As you can see, the water's getting right down there, and whoa! When that tube is out of the water, you're done. You're going to have a little residual water left in. Now, see, it's just bubbling. So you take it off. Ooh, maybe I should set it on a towel. We don't want to torch the countertop. And then all of a sudden, you have a little water in there, so plan on that for your dil dilution. Hey, look at that. It's coming back down. It's cooling down. Woohoo! Shut this off. We need some hot, we need some pot holders up here, some hot plate things. I'm going to put in a requisition for that. When I look at the uh, amount of water that's coming back down, as you can see, we didn't lose that much in the coffee, only a little bit in the grounds. So I'd say it's pretty efficient. Okay. Yeah, that's basically done. I'm just going to set that in there. This is going to be hot. I don't want to burn my tongue. It's the first thing in the morning. I want to be able to taste my lunch. 
It's a very clean cup of coffee. I can see that when I poured it. It doesn't look murky at all. I have members in my family that would love to just glurk this right down at the temperature it's at. And you know who you are. They like their coffee so hot. Oh, that's a nice cup of coffee. Very smooth. Yeah, that's real nice. I can drink that black, and you know, all know I usually put half and half in mine, but this is very, very nice. Very clean cup, smooth. I could even make it a little bit stronger. Mmm, that's really good. So that's the Peebo by, by Bodum vacuum pot. Yeah, I give it two thumbs up on that one. Uh, check it out on our webpage. Call us if with any questions. Leave some comments in the section down below this video. And wow, I, you know, that's really, I haven't had probably a cup out of one of these in four or five years. I forgot how good it is. So check it out. Thanks for watching.